Let's start with a new document. Let's add a new class. You can edit the name of the class as well as the attributes and methods. Drag boxes to move them. Hold down the command or control key whilst scrolling with the mouse wheel or trackpad to zoom in and out. To connect classes simply drag from white box to white box. Right click on any line to change its type. There are keyboard shortcuts listed on the menu for changing type and reversing link direction. Insert comments and connect them to classes. You can even paste in comment text. Resize classes by dragging on the corners. Reverse engineer existing Python code into UML by selecting the Python files that you wish to import. You can select multiple files to import at the same time. Once you have your new classes you can treat them like any other class. You can lay out your diagram which arranges the classes as best as it can. Zoom to fit all the classes into the view. Note that plant UML view is not affected by layout changes in the main view because plant UML has its own automatic layout algorithm. Double click on an existing class to edit it. Notice the diagram updates itself. Notice the plant UML diagram also updates itself. There are many sample diagrams built into the program that you can load and play with. Here we are adding additional attributes to the state chart class. To delete a class simply hit the delete key or use your mouse to right click on the class and then select delete. Using the shortcut keys you can rapidly build the diagrams that you want with the relationships that you need. Thank you for watching this first demo of Pi and Source. There are more feature to explore in the menus and more videos coming soon.